Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Starkler coming back at you with episode 2 of the Corporate Clash playthrough. Where we left off, we had to defeat some lawbots for the sake of our task. And the good news is, we did get it done. I got it on tape. But the thing is, the video kind of just starts abruptly because I had a friend that wanted me to go do a cog building with him. So the video kind of just starts. So that's why I'm filming this right now. So enjoy episode 2 because we're going to take down a cog building. Oh my goodness, we found a two-story cog building and it has lawbots in it. Or at least it should. Unless an invasion starts. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do a cog building. This is it, right at the start. I'm literally filming this right after the first episode, so I guess this is the start of episode two. So be it. We're gonna try to take over this cog building. I don't know if we can do it. Oh, I like that. Oh no. This is literally just the first floor. How are we gonna do this? Hey, the boiler things are back. Look at us, we're not fit for this. He's gonna use zap, okay. I will use squirt. Maybe this will work out. If that lure hits, then we're golden. Okay. Oh, I didn't know it lures all of them. Yeah, that's what a group lure does. Wow, this person must be totally new to the game. Lure and squirt. Interesting. We're doing it. These are our three law bots that we need for the task. And another one comes out of the elevator. Okay, so let's, uh... Hurry. Hurry. There you go. Oh, what the heck? That wasn't fast enough? Yeah. I'll let those pro tips show up as they continue on. Ah, oh, jeez. I pay the price for their mistake. There we go. This guy's thinking like I am. I know that this is being recorded before all of the... Uh, this is being recorded before all of the gag reworks take place, so the gameplay is going to start to change up quite a bit once we reach a later episode. Oh no, don't say that. It's only going to get harder. I'm going to zap him. There we go. Zap him. We're probably going to have to face an executive cog on the second floor. Oh no, it's not over yet. But good round on that part. Maybe I'll survive this. Who knows? Come on, Marvin. You could do this, Marvin! Show him who's boss, the awesome Red Fox. Oh, we got a level 4 EXE. Lure and take out level 3 first. Get him! Come on, we're stronger. We're stronger than this. We can do it. Oh, oh, uh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Shucks. Shucks is right. I like the change in colors that they did to the cog lights. It's pretty good. If that level 4 EXE goes after me... Let's see. Okay, uh, I'm gonna use Zap. Okay. Good. Come on, lock it in, lock it in! What are you doing?! Ah, oh. ah, oh, jeez. There we go. Okay, that's better. Okay, I got scared. Okay, please, group lure, come on, please. No. Oh no. We're probably gonna go sad. You keep pressing back. Oh, you're making this so hard on us. I don't know if we're gonna survive this round of damage. They're not doing that much damage. And another one comes out of the elevator. Okay. This is not gonna go well. Yeah, we're suffering right now. I didn't think it was gonna be this hard. If we could just get that lure to work. He still has magnets, he has squirt guns. I just don't know if we can make it. 
He seems persistent on wanting to get that level 4. There we go, finally we got it. The monkey is so far away from him, how does that work? Get that level 4, zap him, and squirt him. Gosh, that's not enough? Oh, we're suffering. You'll throw on right, okay. See, that's the third one from the right. Okay. Good. Alright. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, that one's gonna need more. Oh, well. That's an executive cog, though. Oh, jeez. Will that zap affect both of them? Oh, it does damage both of them. Okay, good. Okay, the more you know. We got two of them. No. Come on, we can take him out. We have to get rid of the executive cog, because that one's just going to chip us down to nothing. Come on, okay. If we could survive this attack from the level 3 and we all just gang up on him, I think we could take him out. Who's he going for? Oh. He's gonna use that. Okay, what is the monkey gonna do? A throw. I'm gonna use a squirt to get the cog wet and then we could just zap it. Wow, this monkey is the dodging master. We can do it. Let's finish him. This is it. Let's finish him. Let's zap it out. It takes them a long time to lock in their gag choice. The more time that goes by when you're choosing a gag, then the more likely it is for the gag to miss. I don't know if that's in the next update or not. They might be removing that, but we'll see. If we actually survive this, we did it. We actually did it. I thought we were dead for sure, but somehow we did it. Awesome team. This is the power of friendship. Oh look, colorful monkey got a new gag. Awesome. Look at that. Look at the multipliers. We got new stuff. Yay! And a new gag. I got a rug. Wait, did mine go up from level 1 to level 3? Because if that happened, that's actually pretty amazing. I've not, I've never had that many cases before where a gag's gone from level 1 to level 3. Did I really go up two levels? Thanks for saving my shop. Have some jelly beans as a reward. We did it, guys! We took down the building! Awesome! That's so much fun. So, yeah. Okay, so we just went to level 2. Okay, not bad. Um, but yeah, we got our task done, so we need to go speak to Lord Loud and Clear. Invasion and Anvil. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can go do that. So we have a brand new reset. Oh my gosh. So we have a brand new preset that we're going to make with our level 1 and level 2 gags. So we're just going to save that. That's ours. We have level 1 and 2 gags now that we can use against the cogs. So this is already a really good start that we're on to. We're off to a really good start here. But we need to go talk to Lord Loud and Clear. Okay, I was toying around with my settings a little bit, but we have our task that we have to turn in now for Lord Loud and Clear, so let's do it. I don't know if that guy's gonna come and visit me or not, but we'll see. Again, I'm just gonna let the text play out. I don't want to read everything. Uh, Matta Harry. Oh, okay. What's up? Oh, we're welcome to the Toon Resistance. What's that thing down there? Do you guys see that? Interesting. Franz. Uh, we have to go visit Franz. Okay. 
Let's go visit Franz, and we'll see if we can find him. Franz, Franz, my dude. It's been a while. Yeah, we earned jelly beans for doing these tasks. I think that's a good thing. Feels good, doesn't it? Okay, so let's fight a few cogs, and then... Honestly, I think that would be enough to probably wrap up this episode. Let's get our tasks done. We're gonna take out the telemarketer with everything we got. So I changed up the game settings a tiny bit. Just to see if I can amp up the... Oh yeah, I gotta set it to lock. I gotta amp up... Oh nice, good start. We did so well in that cog building. And now I'm going to fail miserably fighting a single cog on the street. The good news is I can run if things go south. Gosh, I keep forgetting I have to... I have to set the lock feature so it instantly... Okay. Is this really how it's going to be? Come on. It's just a simple squirt. We have super squirt and I keep forgetting to hit the lock in button. There we go. Super squirt. I saw someone make a tier list on Twitter of, like, the best-looking tune species in the game. Oh my gosh, I keep forgetting about the lock thing. And they put Fox in the S tier. Like, the only tune to be in the S tier. So thanks for raising Marvin's self-esteem. Marvin appreciates that deep down. Jeez, Squirt misses twice like that? Oh man. There we go. We got our laugh back, at least. What else is there? Three cogs in Toontown Central. Okay. Okay, we'll do it. That is no problem at all. We will fight three cogs. Hopefully it'll go better than missing twice. But I like the new cog types. I like the board bots. It's like the multiverse. The multiverse is broken in Toontown. They're breaking us. Wait, we, we don't get skill credit, do we? Or Oh yeah, it's level 2 gags. What am I thinking? We haven't made it to level 3 yet. We got him. Oh wait, nope, nope, no, I don't want to do that. Okay. It should instantly lock now. So let's let's fight this level 1. They made, they made the short change so tiny. It's like all cute and tiny now. I like what they did there. You know, some people might complain that when it comes to some of the things they use in this game, like the Joy Buzzer, and like it uses some of the same animations instead of something different, I think it kind of fits well with like the aspects of Toontown, because there's lots of moments when things in different at like animations and um, elements from the game get like reused or retextured. So I think it just goes along with the spirit of the game, if that makes sense. Like you'll see with the carpet. Like, yes, the carpet is just like a simple retexture of an existing carpet. But again, I just, I like it. I like the simplicity of it. Mm. Or even reuse of like different sound effects and stuff. But yeah, I think that carpet, it's available in different colors up at your estate. But heck, I like it. There we go. I'll have to do some gag training off to the side. I have to look for cog invasions and stuff. Free to, s to go... Lidl Tune. What does Lidl mean? Get to the Tune headquarters. Oh, I like the little anvil on his head. He really embraces the fact that Drop has poor accuracy. I mean, that's happened to me before. I try to use, like, anvils and they just drop on my head. I suffer from brain damage. Like, don't, don't tell anyone I said that, though. Mata Harry. Oh, wait, I got a laugh point? Ooh, oh, I got a training point. Oh, that's interesting. Either way, thank you for helping us get your gym in order. You are very welcome. Okay. I will do what I can for you. Lots of words. Lots and lots of words. Silly street. Alright, let's go visit the person in Silly Street and let's finish this up. Okay. Oh, look at the look at the accessories. Gives them a little more personality. We're getting a couple of jelly beans. Yeah, I know how to laugh properly. Hehehehe. <laughs> Funny. Oh, 
Why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side, right? No. Oh, okay. Funny. Very funny. Do I have the laugh emote? Because I could have just done the laugh emote. Laughing gas. Oh, jeez. A lot of laughing gags. We need tune-up. Wow, there's a lot. Laughing gas from the cogs. Okay, you know what? Let's get the laughing gas, and then we'll be finished with the episode, okay? So let's let's fight this EXE cog. I kind of like the darker suits that they have. Really shows that they mean business. Oh, I forgot to get gags. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, that's okay. The power of squirt and zap combos. Now, I can't remember, actually. It's been so long since I filmed the first episode. Are we going for tune-up right now as our next gag? Because it would probably be nice if we got tune-up. I know they're talking about laughing and stuff so much. A laugh at me getting tune-up. Silly street. Okay. Let's check real quick. Are we going for tune-up? Oh yeah, we don't have like the training gallery. We just have a training point and then that's what leads to you unlocking the next gag track. Training points are extremely valuable and I still feel like there's a lot I have to know about them. So I think it's best if I don't say anything much. You know, you could have like all the gags in the game and be useless like my friend says or you can have less gags. And you could actually be more useful with prestige gags. My goal is to just get as many gags as I can right away. Joke repair. Okay. Okay, you know what? Uh, I think I'm actually going to end the episode right here. Except I don't want to do it in this tiny little shop. we got to say goodbye properly. We have to say our proper goodbyes. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Toontown Corporate Clash Episode 2. We're making good progress. We're working hard. Silly Street. Is this even on the street? It is. It's not that far away. But anyways, um, I filmed the cog building part of this video on my old computer, and then I filmed the rest of the video on my new computer. So let me know if you guys can see a difference at all in quality, because I paid good money for the new computer just for you guys, so I can get good stuff out there. So anyways, in the next episode, we will go and talk to Jesse Jetster. And we'll do our little joke repair thing. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.